What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada As I do Monday through Friday Bring you drink journal content and videos I hope everybody's having a good day today I'm just here working on some junk journal dangles That I think I made them this weekend Kind of like on the weekends is when I do my fun stuff Which for me is beading <laughs> It's like my fun, you know, turn on the TV and just kind of put stuff together, activity. It's very much that for me. Um, these will be in my shop when I get them done. <laughs> Hopefully soon. I'm also going to be sewing some envelopes. I'm going to try and put out some new drunk journal supplies. If y'all would like to check them out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are my large um, junk journal dangles. So these consist of 12 pins and they have three charms, 12 two inch pins. I love me some two inch pins. It really gives me some space to have some fun with some bead combos. And I just prefer two inch pins, they're my favorite. Hi, God's Desire for me. Hi, Patricia. How are you ladies today? I put them on a chain. The chain is still attached to the roll. You see, it's still attached. Once I get it the size that I want it to be, so I spaced them out two little links in between the pins. And so, once I'm done... I will cut it off. And it actually, it's it's really weird. I find it a lot easier to put um, these pins on the chain when the chain is still attached to the roll. It makes it a little bit more stable, I don't know, for me. For me, it works for me. All right, there's another one. And yeah, that's how I, <laughs> the preview picture is real. This is what I have done so far. I have ones that are like a color and then a bunch of white ones. And then I have the ones that I'm working on right now, which are like one whole color. Here's the orange one. Got a yellow. I got a green like that. Purple. I'm running out of beads. <laughs> it's sad that I'm running out of beads, but... I'm just going to go ahead and order more. Because these are so much fun to work with. I'm running out. Um, my big beads are definitely running out. So we'll see what I get when I order some on, on eBay. <laughs> Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Jen. Beads, 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 beads. It's beads all the time here on this channel. <laughs> it's all about the beads. I feel like, okay, I'm saying that I'm running out, but like, look. Okay, still have all these, right? But, like, you see how empty this pink one is? Even this blue. I could I could move this blue over one. I could, I could possibly, I think I can take one off. That's how many beads I've used. You see that? That used to be impossible. I got some green ones mixed in here. Oh, my goodness, no. So, that's happening. This purple is low, too. Yellow's fine, but I ran out of all my big beads, like my huge beads, like these. Um, I still have some in the blues. There's definitely no more big beads in the pink. Those are all gone. And I never really had that many green beads to begin with. I couldn't find my little divider here, so it's just like that. I still have enough of these white and clear ones. I was probably going to make one with all clear. Is what I was thinking I could make one with all clear. Um, let me show you this one right here. Hi, Letitia. This one right here, this was full. That one was full, so now it's down to half. That's This was definitely full, too, at one point. And then these were chock full of beads. I used up all my pretty beads. I still have some of these and these. These I'm, 
these are from a uh, Hobby Lobby. And I believe this is all I have left of here. And this already got down low and I just was able to have enough to replenish it. These are just some like cheap plastic beads. So I was able to replenish it again, but it got down to nothing. Even these are getting low, my little stars. I love these star beads. I use them all the time. Um, and then I have this one here, which is my like glass beads, which has just been decimated. I just noticed I had these big pink beads on top of these beads, beads and I forgot about them. These are extra pins I kind of messed up on. <laughs> Like, they were supposed to have, or like, I made too many of one color or something, so these are, like, extra right now. But, um, yeah, I had these pink beads on top of these, and I forgot all about these. I guess I should use some more of the red ones, because I really, I should, or I could put these in my Christmas pile. They'd probably go better on my Christmas pile, because I don't have a lot of red beads to put something red together. These are fine. These are all gone. These are all gone. These ones, I have to order more of. These little crystal ones this thing was full and now it's like there's like 20 left tops it's just really sad you know it's just really sad current current state of affairs with my beads <laughs> see okay this one doesn't go here where does this go and this is a clear one okay okay so that's what i'm working with here so i feel like i'm working with nothing then ah. I have this, I have this here, the pink one over here is gone, the purple is gone, this pink is gone, I'm trying to explain to my husband that I need more beads, you're leaving? Yes. Mm. Alright baby, good luck. I'll text you. Yeah, text me, let me know what's going on. Here's the best. You'll have your lunch here. Sorry, y'all. It's my husband's. Uh, he's going back to work. It's his first day of work today. He works. He's going to start working nights. We'll see how he likes it. He used to do it before. But I tell him, I'm like, you're not 20 anymore. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like what I ultimately would want, like the dream of mine, would probably be to have, like, one of these of every color. Wouldn't that be, like, fabulous? But I'm dreaming. We'll see. I am going to order beads. So that is going to happen. Yeah, I am trying to use them up. I am trying to use them up. Right now I have, uh, have these blue ones here to put together. Let me show y'all. Got these blue ones to put together. Then I got pink ones to put together. And then I got an order for a rainbow. I got an order for our large rainbow dangle, so I gotta put that together. Unless I'm gonna. I have some already made, but I like to make them. <laughs> I like to make more. Okay. Okay, so this is for two dangles. So, like I said, each, each dangle has 12 pins. Did I put. Hang on a minute. Where's the last one that I made? The green one did I put? Yeah, I put charms on it. Okay, just checking. Making sure. These have been pretty fun. Oh gosh, did I do that? I did that the wrong way. No. Um, these have been pretty fun. The these ones were just all random beads. I just literally grab them, put it in. And um I use these little spacer beads in between between all the beads just to give it a little more interest a little bit more shine and uh that's uh you should see my collection it's pitiful oh my goodness hey as long as you make stuff with it don't it's it shouldn't be a collection girl <laughs> if you call it a collection it's like you don't want to use them up it could be a stash. <laughs> collection makes me feel like I'm never going to use it. It's not to be used because it's for my collection. Uh, let's see. We got this pink. 
We got to use them up. We got to use them up. And I, like I said, I used up all my big beads, I feel like. Which is sad because I love big beads. I just do. I just do. So I've been looking at a couple of eBay listings for... Oh, wait. I was supposed to be this one. For pounds of beads. Beads by the pound. And I found this one listing, I believe it's like two pounds. I think it's like $25 each pound. So I think I'm going to get that. Let me see if I can get y'all the link if you guys want to check it out. Do I even have it on here? If I go to my eBay listing. This user has really good stuff. Let me see if it's in my cart. Should be in my cart. Sign in. Do I have to sign in? Hang on. Because maybe y'all want to. Maybe y'all want to see. If I even, if I can get to it. Oh, gosh. There it is. Or is it three, 20 pounds each? $20 each, not pounds. Two pounds for $20 each pound. So $40 is what I'm going to get here. Check this out here. Oh, and I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to come back down here. I was just looking at my beads. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. I just gotta put these on here and then add the charms. I'm, I'm, I've been working on these all weekend. I don't know why I designate weekend to be things like this or just doing a bunch of sewing. I don't know. I feel like that's the time to do it. Because like during the week I'm kind of busy trying to design stuff digitally. And then I go live and I do my little one hour craft. But on the weekends is when I feel like, oh, I want to dedicate some stuff to something fun. And for me, beading is fun. So I started, that's like, like my weekend activity. I'll sit here and do it for hours, literally the whole day. I don't know how healthy that is, but <laughs> that's what I do. This here. I literally just grabbed bead and put it in. Like I didn't really think about these too much. Other than try not to place the same beads in the same spot. So there is a little bit of planning. But these are just so much fun. Because I feel like they're effortless. Get it, get it, y'all. Get it, get it. <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. And hi, Maggie. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. How are you, Maggie and Cheryl? Let's put this one here. And then I have some... I need to go to the dollar store because these really, really pretty, like, neon beads are from the dollar store. And I love them. I love them so much. Oh, and that listing is good because that is glass beads. It's not just... Uh, it's not plastic beads. It says it's glass. So I'm excited about that. And I'm running out of caps. I'm running out of bead caps. So I'm looking into buying more of those too. I'm just using everything up, you guys. I am using everything up. And I love it. I love using things up. Oh, wait. That one. Oops, oops, oops. I messed up. That one's supposed to be... Every uh, every fourth one, I put the one with the little star. So hang on, this is a mistake. Mistake, mistake, mistake. We'll put this one in. Oh wait, no, not that one, because there's a heart there already. We'll put it here. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. That looks cute. <clears throat> when I first start something, like when I first started working with beads, I would um, I would look up like on Pinterest or something, like examples of jewelry and uh, get some ideas of like some combos people did, like how are they supposed to be laid out? What's the best ideas? And so just looking at examples and kind of, like I said, I can't exactly copy them because I don't have the same beads as them. But I could see, you know, that's a big bead, that's a little bead, big, 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 small. And so I would do it like that. I can't, I, I always say I can't copy them because well, <clears throat> I don't have the same beads. And um, that's okay. I just wanted to get an idea of what they're supposed to look like. And so I can tell that I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it because I don't have to do that anymore. I just kind of put stuff together and just kind of seeing what other people do. You find what you like yourself, you know? So that was good for that too. Do this. And you know who has really fun bead mixes? Um, Hobby Lobby has really good. They'll have like beads of like the this pack is from Hobby Lobby. They'll have things like this, and this is like fifteen dollars. And uh, it's it's like a fun sets. And I I have a lot of their sets like um these beads right here. This is from their set too. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby as well. Sorry, these are from Hobby Lobby. These are a set from Hobby Lobby. I love the and these are a set from Hobby Lobby too. I, Hobby Lobby, this hat, that's Hobby Lobby too. And I believe these white cheap ones are Hobby Lobby as well. I think that was Joanne's or something. I can't remember where I got those. But Hobby Lobby has really fun, like, mix bead kits, you know? And I love them because they give you a nice size variety and everything. So it's, it's fun. And as you work with things, you learn, you know, what you use up. Obviously, you like that the most. So I like to pay attention to things that I run out of so that I can buy them again. Uh, let's see. Maggie says, I'm fine. How are you? Jen says, I love those pastel beads. I am good, dear. I'm still a little emotional because you're my mom. Uh, she just left last night. My parents moved. They are moving to Mississippi. And I've been with them all weekend. And, uh, and basically all week. I've been going over there all week. And I spent last weekend with them in Mexico. So I've been trying to, you know, spend a lot of time with them. And they finally, finally moved out. Yesterday, last night, they hit the road. And uh, I've just been, like, thinking of my mom all day. Because I love my parents. That's my, that's my allergies. I'm not crying or anything. <laughs> Even though I could. But it's my allergies. And, um... What kind of chain are you using? This is from Amazon. And where's the link for it? I don't even know if I have a link for this. But I can sh still share it even if I don't make money off of it. I guess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Orders. Let's see if I can go chain. Because I, I got this from... From Amazon, the one that I had before, I think I believe I got from Walmart, and the chains are a little bit bigger. This is a little bit more of a pain in the butt to deal with, but it's fine. It, it, it'll do. I'm not going to. I have so much of it, I'm not going to complain right now. But uh, here, here it is. Uh, is there like a share thing for this? Uh, add to list, share, share via email, no, that's, not, that's silly, share via Twitter, I don't even have Twitter logged in, okay, <laughs> if, let me see if this will work here, because I'm trying to get the link, I still haven't figured out why my Amazon affiliate thing doesn't work, okay, so this link works here. This is the link for the chain. Uh, Je uh, Cheryl said, Jen, I need to slow my roll with beads, but I'm creating like crazy now, so to use it up. 
Chad Ryan says, well, it is your business. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I also, <clears throat> I really try not to be a hoarder. <laughs> but that's why I said I like using things up because then it makes me feel like I'm not a hoarder. It's material. <laughs> that's what I tell myself. That's what I tell myself. My grandma, <clears throat> she came into my house a couple times. And she was, like, in heaven. She's a very crafty lady. And she does jewelry, too. And so she was, like, in heaven over here. Going through my things. She grabbed a couple things for herself. <laughs> I was like, okay, Grandma, yeah, you could have that. That's fine, Grandma, take it. Like, <laughs> and she even took one of my, uh, she even took one of my dangles. She wanted one, so I gave it to her. I was like, yes, whatever you want, Grandma. Okay, so that, 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 that. Very much that. Let's get some skinny ones. That's what I call my skinny one. Wait, that one's got a heart, though. This one, this one. And then these links here, I got these at, um, at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a really good um, jewelry supply section. And they often have things on sale. I kind of refuse to buy things unless they're on sale. But when they have things on sale, I stock the F up, you know. Like, I got a bunch of these. Uh, I bought all the ones they had there. <laughs> of their little um, jump rings. Because these are a great size. They're 6 millimeter, but they're nice and big. I don't know what the diameter is. But I, I think... Is it six millimeters? Does it refer to the roundness? I don't know. But it's a nice thin. I like them to be thin. The jump rings, if they're thin, then if I make a mistake with the loop, then it still fits. Yep, yep. Gotta fill up the shop. Let's see. I also gotta make some single pin sets i i have i um need to stock up on those that good there do i need another skinny one? Oh, that's cute the little star but that's got two blues i want that two blues at the bottom okay so they're all kind of near the bottom then we'll just have to do this one I skip two little links and then I attach it to the third one. And having this tension right here from the roll, it's over here, um, it helps. It really helps me be able to kind of, you see, it helps me hold it up and kind of keep it in place. I've learned that I like that. It was very helpful to me. Oops. Gotta flatten that. Okay. Okay. So there's that. And then <clears throat> I think that's it. Three, six, nine. Wait. Uh, let's make sure I got this right. Three. I missed one here. Oops. <laughs> See, that's how I know. That's how I know I messed up. Okay, I can fix this. I can fix it. I need to replace this one. With this one. And then we need to replace um, this one. With this one. And then this one goes at the end. Okay, great. I knew it. I knew it. I knew something fell off. <laughs> 
I think 6 mm is the diameter. Then my jump rings are 6 millimeter. Wait, oh my goodness. See, I, for this very reason, I kept the tab. I kept the top. This right here. This is exactly <laughs> the one that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. 6 mm round jump ring. And uh, there's 200, and it was half off, so I got it for $2, 200 pins. No, 200 jump rings. I think I bought, like, eight of these. <laughs> I stocked up a little bit, a little bit. And I like these because they're thin, like I said. <clears throat> I don't know where the thinness of the wire is explained, but it matters to me because I'm not perfect and so my little loops sometimes are tiny and this is the perfect size I don't know what kind of wire it is I wish I knew but I bought it at the store so I could tell that it's what I wanted okay so there's that now I'm gonna cut it off There we go, there we go. Kinda gotta twist this darn thing so that it breaks where I broke it. There we go. There we go. And that way I don't waste, uh, the chain because sometimes I'll try and like estimate what size I need and not that it matters I have so much of it but I ended up wasting some so I was like no maybe I'll do it this way and like I said it helps me putting everything on and so I just kind of do it this way now Zena Miss Zena let's do the charms Let's do the charm. Okay. This little deer head, why not? Whatever. They're all random. <laughs> They're all so random. I guess I could follow a theme, but the, the, the charms that I get in these packs are very, very random. Here's this bunny. We'll put a bunny. Bunny is a cute little bunny. There we go. And then I need one more. Let me get to my charm section. Oh, here's a little butterfly. That will work. I just look for the cheapest, biggest pack of charms I could find on Amazon. I have bought several already. <laughs> I have a lot of charms. It feels like it, but then it also feels like I don't. I hate, I hate that feeling. I'm such a hoarder. I have a lot, and I still feel like I'm running out. I have nothing left. Okay, so that one is finished. Add it. You guys, this is, I just like the look of this right here. Like this big old pile of stuff. Look at it, you guys. Just look at it. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know how many pins are here. Each one is 12. So there's 12. 24. What? 36. 48. I'm not going to sound dumb because I can't remember my multiplications right now. But look at that. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Let's make the next one. I'm working on the next one. All right. So got my three star pins. Let's put them down. Wait, I got to start off with a bullpen first. 
Chad says, you're an addict. It's true. <laughs> you're an animal. It's true. Why lie? Why lie? It's true. <laughs> Hang on, actually. Put that on the ring, not the bulb. I just love it, you guys. It's just so much fun. I honestly, honestly, I would never have thought of doing this years ago. It just looks so complicated. But the way I do it is pretty easy. Just pins on a chain and then make the little, the little uh, loop there. It took many it took me like almost a year to get good at that <laughs> uh but it's still fun i don't know i still i still even when i make mistakes it's still fun sorry about my nose you guys it's terrible at least i'm not sneezing that's what my allergy pills does it makes me stuffy but i'm not sneezing so i don't, I don't know what's what uh that's just what it does to me <laughs> let's do do this one. No. Whatever. I'm thinking about this too much. That's what it is. I start having like not fun when I gotta think about something too hard. It's not fun anymore. So as long as I keep this fun, I love it. I'm thinking I might order also a box of I got this box of five pounds of plastic beads from Amazon. Just literally look up five pounds of beads. <laughs> it's like $20 and you get five pounds of plastic beads. Most of them are pony beads, but I did get enough regular beads to fill up this large tackle box container. So there was enough usable things that, I, that it was worth it to me. Okay, so we got those two. Need this one next. Are they for your journals or to sell by themselves? These are, I'm going to sell these by themselves. I've been kind of making the dangle according to the journal that I've been making lately. Like I made Valentine's Day ones and I made the pink and uh, clear ones for the journals that I was making at the time. So these are going to be for sale individually. I just enjoy them too much, and I don't make this many journals. <laughs> but these are fun, and I have too many beads not to make. <laughs> then I wouldn't be able to justify buying more beads. <laughs> yeah, I have some. I have some of my um, prayer journal ones. And I have a couple of the single sets of dangles available. I have my rainbow uh, dangles listed. And I have some Christmas ones still, too. If y'all want to check them out. Um, I just really enjoy making them. I'm not like, like I said, I'm not a professional, like, jewelry maker or anything. These are definitely for decoration. <laughs> Decorative purposes only. Don't try and wear this as a necklace. Don't try and use this as a purse charm because it might not last. <laughs> it's decorative, purely decorative. <laughs> I gotta, I say, I give the example of say, you know, you can buy a bicycle, right? One that functions, one that works. You could take it on the road up mountains, right? That's that's one kind of bicycle. You could also buy a bicycle for your flower pots. <laughs> My mom has this little uh, flower pot holder that's in the shape of a bicycle. And, like, I wouldn't take that back to the store and say, this didn't help me. Um, this didn't ride well on the mountain. They'd look at you and say, that's a decorative bike. You know, that's not to go out to the mountains. So these are definitely purely decorative. <laughs> purely decorative. But uh, they look great. <laughs> they look great, though. <laughs> That's the example I always give. So these are decorative drug journal dangles. <laughs> there we go. And then, and then, 
like this skinny one here. Because I'm running out of big beads. I have some skinny, some skinny looking stick pins. So I'm trying to put those in between the ones that still have big beads. <laughs> Okay, like I said, I skipped two and then I put it on the third. And this is, the jump rings are pretty easy motion, just, you know, left to right to close. And then you use, you could use this part of the pliers uh, to kind of squish it together and make it straight. Uh, these are just a pretty basic set. I believe I got these at Walmart. They're just, I just noticed how they're kind of rusty. <laughs> I've had these for a while. It's this basic set right here. It comes with uh, these cutters, wire cutters. And this part right here is also a wire cutter, actually. Both of these have wire cutters in the middle. Um, and then these are the, the needle nose pliers. And then just the regular pliers. And it's just a pretty basic set. I've had it for years. I have never upgraded these. <laughs> never have. Don't know if I ever will. They work pretty well. They work pretty well on their own. I think they were like $10 or something. Great example. See? Thank you, John. You get you get me, girl. You get me. You get it. I was worried when I started selling these, like, oh my god, are people gonna use them like for jewelry? Like they're not jewelry, they're not they're not for your purse. Don't don't put them on <laughs> I don't know how long they'll last if you put them on your purse. They're purely decorative. <laughs> but this little one there's this cute little heart at the top of these. I'm just having so much fun making these and I'm running out of supplies. <laughs> Definitely running out of bead caps. Apparently, I use tiny ones more than the big ones. Go figure. So, now I know. Oh, my God. I thought that was a bug. It was a tiny little bead. <laughs> I'm like, I literally froze for a second. Oh, my God. Is that a bug? No, it's just a tiny bead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, you know, I honestly, I try, there's so many people, something that, like, kind of gets on my nerves. Nobody asked, but I'm going to say. <laughs> Nobody asked. Hang on. I don't like when Etsy stores, okay, I'm not talking to you. I'm just kidding. I don't like when Etsy shop owners feel like they're calling their customers dumb when they like really stress the fact that these are digital downloads like they very 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 highly stress in various places that what you're buying is a digital download and I feel like you're calling me dumb like I, I have never in my uh 10 plus years on Etsy selling digital downloads. I have never had one person ask me, where's my product? Not once have I ever had anybody ask me, where's my product? Everybody I have ever sold digital products to knows they're purchasing digital products. I've never had not one person. And I don't say it in my store. Everywhere it says digital downloads, instant download. Uh, that I don't need to point out <laughs> in big, bold letters. You will not be receiving anything. I feel like that's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This one was supposed to be. Okay. This one. No. Thi no. This one is supposed to be this. That's what I'm missing. Okay. So I'm like, wait, I'm off. I'm off. But anyways, nobody asked me. And once you see, <laughs> like, don't call, I feel like you're calling me dumb. But anyways, nobody's calling me dumb. Nobody's calling you dumb. It's just me in my head. I don't know. 
But anyways, Chris, hi, Chris. Are they just, they're just fun little beads, you know. Just having some fun with some beads. Okay. One, two, these. And then the pink ones. Oh, I love the pink ones. They're so cute. The pink ones are so cute. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think I want this one before this one. I had some f I had some fun beads like these little uh, uh flowers. And those are from that uh 5 pound box of beads. Like I said, look up go on Amazon and look up 5 pound beads. It's $20. It's a great starter if you don't have a lot of beads. And uh, I had so much fun with them. They're all uh, acrylic, but I would I mix them up in between some glass. And they just look so pretty, honestly. They look so gorgeous. Okay. You know what kind of beads I don't like? I find that I don't like the, um, I don't like the beads that are like rocks. I don't know. They just, I just don't see it. I don't get it. But my mom loves those. <laughs> my mom loves stuff with little rocks. I don't, I don't know. Diamonds are just rocks too, I suppose. But I, don't, I just don't get the little bead rock chunks. I don't get it. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so now we're going to cut it off. And I don't know what it is about this chain. But the last chain I bought cut pretty easily, and this one I feel like I have to cut twice to get it off. Okay. So here is this one. All right, it looks so cute. Let's get some charms on it. Let's see what we got. Here's an octopus, a Pegasus, and a peace sign. <laughs> okay, that's what you get. That's what you get. I'm not a fan of rock beads unless they're shaped like beads or they're turquoise. Yeah, if they're shaped. No, I no, I'm not going to lie. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like rock beads. I just, I, I don't care for them. Um, anyways. <laughs> I was going to say in circles, but no, I don't like me Because I'm looking at my stash. I don't have any of those. So apparently, I don't like them. My freaking nose. It's my cat, you guys. I'm literally, I'm allergic to my cat. But I love that boy. So I'd rather not be able to breathe. <laughs> I'm okay not breathing as long as I get to have that little boy in my life. Because, yeah, my mom was like, Daisy, you're not sneezing. When we were in Mexico, my mom was like, you're not sneezing, Daisy. She's like, it's that cat. I'm like, I know, ma. I know, but what do you want me to do? I can't, I can't do anything about the cat. Cat lives there. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Cat lives there. Mom. <laughs> the cat stays. My nose can go. <laughs> My breathing abilities can go. There we go. It's done. Ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo -hoo. I love it. In the pile it goes. Okay, so now just got these pink ones. Oh, and I'm done with that stash finally. I've been looking at that thing for days now, wondering when I'm going to put them on the chain. Okay, so here's the ones we're going to use. Um, okay, 
pink ones are oh i love the pink ones they're so much fun love deep bear hi love watching you make dangles it's my favorite thing to do even though i have tremors yeah honestly my hands are not good sometimes when my hands hurt i can't do this i cannot and for a while there, I didn't because my hands hurt. So I can imagine this is a fun activity, but not when your hands don't feel good. So I feel for you. Sometimes it is watching. It's fun watching other people make stuff. <laughs> It's it's sometimes it is. It's just as fun as making it yourself. It is. I get it. I get it because I love it too. Been watching this one girl do ceramics. And I have no intent on doing ceramics myself. <laughs> but I love watching it. I love watching it. Okay, that looks well right there. That looks really cute. Um, I want this one here because it has a little heart at the top. Y'all go check it out too, Cheryl's. Um, Cheryl says she's uploading a bead haul video. Gotta guess how much I spent for a free gift for me. Oh my goodness. I uh, I was about to, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to buy this. These uh, I was gonna buy three. Of those two pounds. So I was going to buy six pounds of beads. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm, I'm just waiting to pull the trigger. On the cart. But I think I'm going to end up doing it. And I'm going to get another five pound pack. Of these beads. <laughs> but I don't know. That kind of sounds crazy. Oh my goodness. Should I do it? Like I said. I kind of want a container. Of each color. I think that would be ideal for me. <laughs> So that's what I need in my life. <clears throat> okay, I'll set my egg timer, <laughs> Chris says. <laughs> uh, D Bear says, you're very talented, though. And yeah, it hurts, but it, it's, with it being fun, it's worth it. I agree. I agree. Jed says maybe you should buy one and see how good they are first. That is a good suggestion. It's hard to listen to it right now because <laughs> I want all the beats. That's sad advice, Jed. You know, I might listen to you. My freaking notes. And I always tell y'all, buy from different vendors. So I might have to try and buy from different vendors, like I said, like I always say. These are fun. Anytime I have like any worry in my life or any stress, I hit the bead stash. <laughs> Beading is a way for me to like, if I have some stress, I'll not think about it and just like work with beads. I just, I literally, I don't think of anything else but beads. So it's, it helps me sometimes. It's good for me. Let's see. All right, so there's that. Now I need a star. Do this one. Cheryl's buys the fancy beads, so probably like five hundred dollars. <laughs> I've done ceramics with molds and slip. Yes, that's what she does. She she uses molds. It looks like so much fun. But I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to draw it. <laughs> but you know. It could be fun to try. I don't. I just. I don't know. 
I just don't know. Until I told my husband, buy me a kiln. <laughs> buy me a kiln. That one kind of got away, but you can use this part right here to straighten out the, the straighten it out. Okay, three, 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 three. Need a skinny one. Next, I'm going to do a bunch of single pin ones because I sold out of my pink and purple real quick. So I'm going to make some more of those. Let's see if I can use one of these now. The oh, wait, I didn't even do this one yet. I put it on here and it looks like it's on there. Um, let's see. There's just so many possibilities with beads. It's just so much fun. I freaking love it. <laughs> uh, the pink one would be cute on a girl's baby album. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Which I need to design up baby uh, baby stuff. I'm going to do it this year. I'm trying to be on top of my digital designing game this year. So I'm, try, I'm definitely going to do that. Try different themes. That's what I'm doing this year. This year I'm focusing not so much on making a lot of journals, but making themed journals. And those always take a little bit longer. Because you got to gather stuff and I have to design stuff, you know. But that's what I'm trying to do this year. It's the goal of this year. It's not to make more journals than I did last year. So, oh my God, last year I made so many journals. I made like... 50 journals last year. <laughs> I finished 50 journals because some journals were even from the year before that. But this year, we're going to slow it down. And we're going to work on different themes. Let's do a skinny mini over here. No, no. No, no. Let's do this one. That's cute. I need more rings. Uh, don't forget about adoption. Yes, a baby collection would be awesome. Okay, that's a good idea, Miss Jen. That is an interesting theme. Let's see here. Oh, see, snaps. I did it again. This and this. There we go. Okay, and then I need a star. This one. You're freaking fast at attaching those. Well, when my hands don't hurt, I am quick. I can be. This is a very. Okay, I was about to curse because I forgot to do this. When my hands don't hurt, that's when I do this. That's when it's time to make these. Oh, no, no, I lied. It was supposed to be this one. I lied. But this, you see, holding it like this? Oh, my God. My it like drives my hand crazy after a while. So. We'll see when I have normal functioning hands. It's a fun activity. Okay, so then this one is next for sure. For sure. Yeah, 
It also doesn't help that I... <laughs> It also doesn't help that I have big old glasses because I can't see very well. <laughs> Sometimes, and I have the my I have the memory of I don't know what animal has short memory, but I have a short memory. So that's why sometimes I'll mess up. <laughs> that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so. Put a skinny one. We'll do this one. That's cute. Uh, yeah, I count the spacing. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes, uh, I'm not going to lie, sometimes three slips in instead of two. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and man, this little... Like I said, the last chain I got was from Walmart, and the rings were a lot bigger than this. So this is a little bit finicky to work with, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I was kind of annoyed with it at first, but I've learned to deal with it, I suppose. I suppose. to try to be gentle with how I put my tools down because it sounds so harsh on camera. Let's see. Let's see. What am I doing wrong? Because I had that. I had it figured out, I thought. Okay, if my chain, if I had the last chain I had, though, hang on, something's wrong. Something is wrong here. Okay, see, I messed up, but that's okay. Just like a certain, I'm quick, and then I mess up. Ah, ha, ha. So, yeah, that happens to me. It happens to me. This needed to be this one. That's what happened. Anyways, I need to be careful how I put my tools down because I've <laughs> I've gone back and heard videos of me when I work with my with my tools for my dangles. And everything sounds like I'm slamming it down on the table. It's so weird. And it's bizarre. But I have to watch out for that. <laughs> so I really try to be really gentle when I put my tools down. So I just hear click, click. Like oh, hearing it back sounds so loud. Okay, okay, hang on. Okay, so. Okay. So now we can put this one back in. And I believe that's it. Normally I don't actually even show this part with me putting them on the chain because it's kind of boring. <laughs> But it's what I had to do tonight. I wanted to make more, but I have to finish what I started first. Okay, that's it. That's it for this one. Uh, question. In the box of beads you bought, did the charms come? No, no. It was just beads. Uh, you know what? There were some, like, plastic things. I didn't care for them. There were some plastic things. Oh, oh, I have a bag of it. Oh, my God. I did not realize I kept it. Hang on, I see. So, there was a lot of pony beads, but it was still worth it because there was a lot of regular beads. But then, there was things like this. I, I should have thrown these away, but actually, look, these I could use. But like, this big old turtle. Technically, it's a bead. 
could also be looked at as a charm. These weird little dogs. <laughs> Airplanes. I don't know. So these came along with it too. But actually these are fabulous. I don't know why I didn't add those to my stash. There's even these like circles. I don't know. It was a weird box. Oh snap. These are great. Why are they in there? Why did I not consider these? Oh my goodness. Hang on. Hang on, I'm finding good stuff. What? I thought these were trash. What? There's another green one. Ooh, is that a Christmas tree? That's kind of cool. You guys, I just discovered, hang on, I just discovered a new stash of beads here. Hello. Sometimes you don't think about it at first, and then you see it again later on, and you're like, how did I think that was trash? This was in the literal garbage. Look at these, they're great. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting there gathering dust all this time. Oh my god, these are great. <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just like salvaging, shopping my own stash here that I didn't even know. Why would I think these are trash? These are so great. There's buttons in here. I don't know where those came from, but look at these. <laughs> Anyways, I'll look through that later. <laughs> but no, the box was just beads and then those random plastic things. But uh, mostly, <laughs> those are cute. She's getting sidetracked. I always get sidetracked. When it comes to beads, there is no... There's, it's really hard for me to pay attention. I'm going to cut this chain here. Okay, there we go. Oh, did I never, did I not attach this last one? Oh, wait, did I just cut off the one it was attached to? What happened? Oh, well, I'll have to put it here. I don't know what happened. I must have cut the one I was attached to. Whoopsie daisy. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I got too happy. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, it's done. We're going to call it. <laughs> I made that mistake, but that's okay. It's okay. Nobody will ever know. Nobody. Okay, so now they need charms. What random charms do I have? I have a fairy. I have this little cat, and I have a music note. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, DeBear says, oh, oh, I have used those big beads when I made paperback book covers. And those are hanging on the ribbon as the bookmark. A ribbon thong bookmark. <laughs> that, you know what? They had so many pony beads. I could have done something, but I just, I don't know. I like working with pins. I just kind of really like working with pins. And they just, pony beads just don't work for pins. They just don't. But like I said, I still had like two pounds of usable beads. So it's like I was not mad at all still. I just gave away the pony beads. I was like, whatever, get out of my face. <laughs> I just gave them away. Let's see here. This little music note. Oops, oops, oops. Zena says she wants to take her beads out. Sometimes I just take them out to look at them. Don't tell anybody I said that. It might sound weird, but like sometimes I just look at them. <laughs> sometimes I look at them, see if I can organize them, just for fun. Just literally, just for fun. All right, there's that. 
There's that one. Add it to the stash. One more. I gotta do one more so I can get these all done. And then I'm gonna look at my stash because it looks it looks amazing over there. It look <laughs> my friggin' bead dumping ground over there. It looks crazy. It literally looks crazy. See if I can put it over here now. Hang on. I don't know how many pounds of beads and stuff this is. But I just want to have it in frame because it makes me happy. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just crazy over here. Don't mind. I just like to look at my stash. You can melt pony beads to make an animal. I just, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that, Cheryl. I think uh, somebody suggested that, but I just, I don't know. That doesn't sound like fun to me. <laughs> that doesn't sound like what I want to do. Plus, it sounds like, I don't think you want to melt plastic. Do you want to melt plastic? It sounds stinky. Plus, I don't know. It just sounds like a lot. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. Not that I don't I don't know anything about doing a lot of anything. But that sounds like a lot. Let's see here. I wanna look good there. I really enjoy working with pink beads. Pink and purple is probably my favorite, like, combo. Our favorite colors to work with in beads. They just have such a fun variety of, like, shapes and shades. I didn't get that many with other beads, but that one was fun. Pink and purple. I got a lot of pink and purple fun beads. Low oven temp in the in the oven that's interesting okay okay sounds a little less stinky wonder if you can use them as wax seals too that's a lot of dagos that that unicorn threw up on your desk yeah it's it's a, it's just a couple it's just you know like one or two like oh one or two couple tables you know it's just a couple This is so much fun to look at. I don't know. I just love this right here. <laughs> it looks like a mess, but I love it. I love it. Let's do that one. It's always fun to see, like, it grow. <laughs> and multiply. Oh, wait, I was supposed to put this one down. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop forgetting what I'm doing. Oh, my God. It's not good. It's just not good for business, you know. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that one's gonna look so cute. My enter inner 80s child is loving it too. Yes. Yes. Let's see. I think I'll I guess I'll do this one. No, what should I do? What should I do? No, yeah, let's no, no, let's do this. This one. Wait, I haven't even done this one. Okay, Daisy, chill out. There we go. Okay. That's what I need to dull the sound of this. Look, you don't even hear it. That's, I just need to have this stash here all the time for my tools. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Why did I, wait, why did I put this one? Because I don't need this one yet. It's not, wait. 
Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Okay, now I'm right. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, relax, Daisy, relax. <laughs> yeah, let's do this one first. So I'm late to the party, but were those put together already, or did Rose put them together? I hate these. Um, these were all put together. I just, uh, these are, I didn't even show these. I was just kind of putting a blue one, a green one, purple, and then the pink ones. I'm just putting them on the chain for now. I did these all over the weekend. That's just what I need. I need this as a sound pad. It's perfect. Okay. And then that'll go there. Every third, third link. That's where I put it. If my, if my, um, on my other chain, the links are bigger, and I would really only skip one. But here, they're really tiny, so I'm skipping two. Otherwise, your dangle can be uh, longer than you desire. Okay, and then. This one for fun. And then that's it, you guys. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it took me an hour to put those all on a chain. It's kind of ridiculous. That's how many of these I had to put together. Is that I it took me a whole hour. That's a that's kind of crazy that I made that many. But I really did. Like I said, each one of these has 12. I haven't even counted how many I made. Okay, then we need this one. Okay, I was going to say I'm one short, but I'm not. We're good. We are good. Your mouse probably would do it. Probably, probably. Or make some bean bags. I don't need it. When I, when I got my, when I got all this, I don't need no bean bags. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just be when I'm gentle with it, you can't hear it, but sometimes I'll just put it down not thinking about it and it, it's it really sounds loud on the video. <laughs> it's really weird how that sounds so loud. Okay. There we go. Go there we go. Okay, last three. All right, this is great. This is great. I love it. Okay. I'm telling you, I just like looking at beads. Just looking at them makes me happy. Honestly, I have found making beads uh, like this, it's just, it's just so therapeutic for me. Like, I really just focus on the beads. I don't even think about anything else. All my problems just melt away, and I'm just working on beads. It's great for me. Wait, wait, let me put this other one first. Last one. I've only been doing this for an hour, just attaching them to the chain. <laughs> uh, 
I'm so silly, you guys. Sometimes I, I just have so much fun. I just literally don't want to stop. Will anybody buy these? I don't know, but I had so much fun making them that I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. They're just so much fun. Okay, so let's see here. Make sure I'm not cutting off the wrong link again. They're just so tiny, it's hard. It's hard to keep track of them. Definitely not the easiest ones. The bigger chains are a lot easier to do. Okay, look at that. Woohoo, so much fun. These are all different beads, you guys, so this is not like a set of any sort at all. Here's that, and then we'll put this little piece side. So there's a little, like, looks like a little bunch of grapes, seahorse, and a piece side. And the charms are all random. They're really cute. Uh, how do you get a wrench like this, a wrench, which, which wrench, what wrench am I using? Is this the, the thing you're talking about? I don't know. I'm, I don't know what a wrench is. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of tools, <laughs> tools. I don't, these are, um. Aren't these called wire cutters? I mean, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. I, think, I thought these were wire cutters. I thought these were pliers. And then these are needle nose pliers. So if something is called a wrench, I don't know that it goes by that name. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. What? Miss uh, D. Bear, I don't know. What you mean by wrench? I want to know what you mean by wrench, though. I want to know. So if you could explain, I would love to to be on the same page as you here. There we go. And I need one more. My nose is crazy stuffed up, so sorry about that. <laughs> Some people don't like sniffling. I get it. I get it. By now, it's just a, a character trait of mine now. <laughs> it's just part of my identity now to be stuffy. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. And it's even more fun to look at, you guys. Look, look at this big old mess here, you guys. I had so much fun with this. I really, truly did. Look how they're all messed up, but whatever, figure it out. I'll figure it out later, but, like, I had so much fun. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Saw your name of earlier loads of them. Um, Jealous. Uh, it's okay. She has a wrench next to her name. A wrench. Okay. They are moderators, D-Bear. If you have a little wrench next to your name, you're, like, a moderator, administrator, somebody who helps you with the chat to monitor the chat. Um, okay, now I understand. I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page now. Okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's it for me, you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Sorry, Lisa, if you just got here, girlfriend. I am on my way out. I just spent an hour or more. Actually, I spent more than an hour crunched up over here with these. I need to go shoot up some digital zombies now. So that's what I'm going to go do. But we'll come back uh, tomorrow. We will continue working on my grief journal because it's pretty much done. I just have to put stuff in the pockets and things like that. So I'll do that tomorrow. And hope you guys can join me. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me uh, here tonight. Uh, working on my junk journal dangles. I had a lot of fun. Anytime I work with beads or talk about beads, you guys, it's fun. Okay, it's fun. Buy some bead mixes and just get to it. It's just a lot of fun to makes beads and everything it's just it's just a lot of fun what, what else can i say what else can i say you guys i hope everybody has a good night i hope everybody has a good tuesday and i will see you guys tomorrow okay thank you Bye bye